All right, the Betis pepper sauce by Chris Betis. Yes, he came by Market Square, coincidentally, back in, gosh, how far, how long ago was that? And we got to talk to him about his sauce. So excited because now it will be on the counters at HEB and he is joining me now. Hello, Chris, how are you? What's up, everybody? How are you doing, Jen? <laughs> I'm I'm great, you know. Happy to get to chat with you again and and hear about what you've been doing during quarantine. And also, this is so exciting, just in time for the holidays, right? Like you said to me earlier. Yeah, and and it's also uh, great to be talking to you. The power of Zoom nowadays, you know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> talking to you from New York, and I miss yeah. home though. Uh, so the last time we featured you on Essay Live, we even made a fun recipe with it. Um, so this is something near and dear to you, and you said also a learning process. Can you talk to me exactly. about about all of this journey that you've been going through? Yeah, well, it's been a labor of love, and you know, more so my um, my business partner, John Gomez. I know he's out there watching. Um, you know, there was a lot, there's a lot of uh, the, the process. You know, um, the actual making of the hot sauce was one thing, but to get it uh, out there in in uh, like the big stores, like HEB, um, it's 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 quite the process, you know. A lot of um, back and forth on emails and just having to learn. I mean, it's something that you know, it's completely different than um, working in the studio or making a record. Or, I will say it's been a labor of love and it's a dream come true to get it into my favorite store. And I mean, <laughs> I love HEB. I'm always there. If I ever leave the house, like I don't go out clubs or bars or or you know just out i'm if i do go out it's h-e-b it, it's it's so texas right h-e-b oh. um so let's talk about what the sauce is good on for those who maybe haven't tried it it'll be available um next month like you said um i know we tried it on a few different things tacos the usual right things but what yeah. are some other uh ways that you can have it that you may not have thought of you know we did win some awards amazingly enough uh, a few months back uh and it in and um according to the judges you know we we got uh it's good enough to get an award for like a wing chicken wing marinade um also like a steak condiment um but just different categories that when we created it you know we weren't really thinking about that we were thinking just more of like a hot sauce to put on kind of general you know your breakfast stuff and pretty much generally everything but for them to kind of fine-tune it we ended up getting five awards which was crazy you know but um again testament to the team that i created uh to help me how's music going we can talk about that too um yeah um, hispanic heritage month so many things going on right now <laughs> hispanic heritage month yeah i'm proud and you know proud of, tr proud to be a part of that in so many different ways and like the interviews have just been this year have just been nuts around this time and um again power of zoom i get to you know i don't i don't have to be going a lot of places i can do it from here in, in the, the studio setup i have in new york so the music's been really good um it's the, the only thing like i said is i miss uh playing live you know and realizing how many gigs we had to pass up you know that's been tough you know um i looked at the calendar the other day and it was a bummer because it said uh, I was supposed to be in Los Angeles at the Greek theater playing with Los Lobos, you know what I mean? And those are great guys, friends of mine, and just, to, you know, pass, having to pass up on things like that because of the situation that we're in. And, and what are you doing in New York? Do you mind me asking? <laughs> um, well, I came over here, I've got, um, like, you know, I, I'm always around my, my, uh, my, like my music setup recording and whatnot, but, um, I came over here just to take a little bit of a break, you know. I just want to tell everybody thank you and to keep an eye out for the for the sauce uh, early November HEB. So um. I'm so happy for you, and just in time, like you said, for the holidays, get some gift ideas, and we'll be on the the lookout for it in, in HEB. I'm excited for you. <laughs> well, thanks again, everybody. Thanks for your time, Jen. Yeah, and get back to Texas. We miss you. <laughs> a couple of days, I'll be there. A couple of days, I'll be there.